Okay, hey, welcome back. Welcome back to me. I'm Chase Johnson Lynch. I'm your host for the Liverpool Community Podcast. It's been over a month since I've been in this chair, in this studio, and I had these trees in my head. So I got to tell you, I miss it, you know, but it's been great. And to have my first guest here in the studio, someone I've known for a long time and everything else like that, been trying to get her in here and all that other kind of stuff. I'm glad that she's here with me now. I'm joined by Titi Li- Titilayo Odanaya from Pace Setters. Thank you. Pleasure to be here today. Please tell me I got that right. Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> I said it very slow and phonetically, so I should have got it right. <laughs> And then, yeah, so TT, yeah, um, yeah, it's great because we did do an interview in our old studio way back when in the day and stuff like that, you know, and uh, it's good to hear. And basically, because I like to tell people I stalk the internet sometimes, but like, good to hear that pay service is still going strong and it's still going out. Like, uh, basically, for those who don't know what pay setters are or who pay setters are, can you give us kind of like an overview of pay setters? Paysetters, um, it's more like um, an avenue for uh, businesses to actually promote themselves. So we call it paysetters because there are people pay, I mean, actually setting the pace in the community, mm. making um, making names and um, actually creating, I mean, making their brands known in the community. We have several people in our community that are not well known, that just operate their businesses quietly and they do things and they feel they're actually not making the money they're not getting about it. It's an opportunity for them to showcase their talents, to showcase their products and services. And that's what we do um, in Paysetters. We actually bring all the businesses together. We bring them for networking. We, bring, we, we brand them. We promote them. And then we make them known, not just in Liverpool, but actually nationwide. Give them more mm-hmm. opportunity. That's what Paysetters is all about. It's kind of like single proprietors who, like, you know, the kind of people who might set up business in their house initially. And, you know, and they know by word of mouth. That's right. But then I understand you uh, provide certain amounts of counseling and training to let them know how to get out beyond their comfort zone. That's right. What'd you say? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, no, it's very interesting because, like, uh, with that kind of business support, you know, I think you said, I don't know, you can't say really you had like a 100% success rate, but maybe you can. I mean, like, what do you think? Well, we wouldn't say 100%, but yeah. we'll still stay in our 90s. We're trying. <laughs> I think so. I think I think it's very high number. I mean, because what it is, 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 is funny. It's like, because uh, when I was going over some of the companies that you supported, and stuff they're still about and so that's the main thing it's kind of like uh you know like captain heaven or you know and what was interesting was when i mentioned uh timmy's hair salon you like yeah i own it <laughs> <laughs> and i was like "Ooh, i didn't know that all right <laughs> So, but usually that's what happens, isn't it? Like when people set up like, uh, um, how shall we say, like uh, collaborations or projects that where people should come together, usually one of them has one of those projects. And it's kind of like, it's something that you must have recognized in yourself that I could use um, some support or some communication with other businesses. Would you say that's what started you out? Actually, um, it started with my own business, actually. So, like you said, Tammy's hair. So, I started Tammy's hair thinking, okay, yeah, let's start the business. Let's do something. Let's get something done in the community. But we, I realized that I was getting known just by word of mouth, by little communication, by friend telling a friend, which is good at the point. But we don't just, we don't want to stop there. You want yeah. your business known all over the world. And... Um, I got to a stage where I had to travel out of Liverpool because I wasn't really getting the support I wanted here in Liverpool. Really? I had to go outside Liverpool for exhibitions and all, all sorts of things like that to get my business known out there. So many people don't even know my name. They know me as Tamis. Each person calls me Tamis. And then I got back to Liverpool one day and I thought about it. 
why can't we just do something like this? All these exhibitions that I go all the way to London for. Wow. So we can do something like this in Liverpool. Bring out the businesses that we know. Let them collaborate. Do something together. And not just that. Actually giving them an award to encourage them. That you've set a good pace. You've started something. So when we give you an award for starting something, it encourages others to actually come out and do it. And that you can actually get the support that you need here in Liverpool. That was what came about with the pace it is. That you, um, like I said, you are setting a good pace for others to follow. Yeah. And um, when each person comes out, another business comes out again. So yeah. and over the years, we have, it's not always the same business. We have more businesses, keep them, they keep coming and keep We have people that have come every year. And we have some that have come far not just from Liverpool, from outside Liverpool, that come all the way, they've, they've seen what we've done, and they come from London, from Leeds, from Manchester, and all they come to Liverpool to exhibit their goods and services. And we don't just stop there at pay sitters. When After the exhibitions that we do, we give them video clips, we cancel them, so you use this for your promotion, this is how you can set up, this is the funding you can actually seek for yeah. to get your business all out there. And no, no. Brand. Now slow down, Tammy. T T Tammy's. Which one am I gonna call her? Slow down only because you're saying a lot there yeah. in the sense where it's as far as uh, businesses getting themselves out there, right? You know, it's like for one, like Pay Setters is an expo, yeah. right? And that's really interesting because what you're saying to yourself is like you found that you had to go out of your community. Right to get no, and that's that's definitely an unfairness. Right, it's like why why don't people why don't we do some here? Why is there nothing here? Then London, ooh, ooh that London, right? You know you got to go far. So now you've been doing this for about five years now uh, 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 with this expo here. But then again, is is that the whole thing about businesses uh, advertising themselves? It's, there's there's like you know setting up a, a website. There's uh, setting up a YouTube channel. There's doing the little videos, like you said, that you've supported people in doing. Because you're working in a world where that's how people are communicating nowadays. It's not like that word of mouth, like you can just shout out the window down the street. <laughs> you know, come get your hair done. <laughs> right? Uh, you want to connect to the outer world. Because I often say to people, like, because... Like, when I used to make music videos, is I often say to people, it's not about your family or friends watching. It's about the strangers who discover you. That's your fan base. Yeah. You know, but you got to be in that world where people are going to see what you do. And that's what, what you're talking about, you know, is, is to get people. And so do you feel that, like, uh, out of the people that you've encountered over the years, a lot of them... Still continue to work with you on a yearly basis like yeah. that way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, so many of them actually, and they actually um they've been the source of encouragement to actually keep going mm -hmm. because they keep telling testimonies of what they've um they've been able to achieve actually through. Yeah, testimonies. testimonies yeah. Yeah. Testimonies. And do they collaborate with one another as well? Yes. Um, I've had cases of um you know like base setters is not restricted to any business so. You can be a caterer, you can be a fashion yeah. designer. I've had a case of a, a lady that bakes cakes, and then um, she's a baker, and then she came for a pay setter. She met uh, um, a decorator. And she now, instead knew, of just saying, that stranger who does this. <laughs> she, ne she never What's knew. What's the name of that company? Such. Come on. <laughs> Have we not learned? <laughs> so that what lady makes cakes? She's she, she a baker. Come on. Oh, you're not even going to say her name. Okay. okay. We're um, going to cut that part. Totten's cake. What? Uh, Totten's cake. Totten's clean cake. That's, well, see, there we go. Well, what what was hard about that? No, nothing hard. <laughs> she can hear it. Yeah, she actually came to me afterwards to say, oh, that was the first expo we had in 2018. Mm -hmm. She never knew we had um, event decorators in Liverpool. Mm. That actually, from our community, she never knew. And she got to talk to them and afterwards they all work together and yeah. they do so many things together we've had people i mean we've had um stand-up mc um, um comedians we have uh, mcs master of ceremonies come up to actually do things 
in collaboration. So when we go for most of our events right now, you have a list of photographers from Liverpool for this and this and this. So it's like bringing the community together, working together, and achieving a, a, a very good um, aim. And which, which you got to be there. To, you got to be there to get it. Yeah. And stuff. And like you've had like, uh, you know, a, it's been well attended. You've had like over like 40 stalls. You had like, uh, you know, uh, about 200 or so uh, uh, people at these events. And they used to be, well, I'm not going to say they used to be because they still are, but they've been in like different uh, locations like yeah. uh, the Liner or the Adelphi. So what's your plan now? Do you have a big plan in mind? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very big plan, <laughs> very big plan, and fingers crossed, wow. we are really gonna, we are really gonna get that. So, um, what we're planning to do is actually making a bigger festival, a bigger event, so that the ex if you are exhibiting there, you're not just going back home with just yourselves. You're going back home with the network. You're going back with, be actually knowing lots of people from the expo, even people that you've never met before. So, right now, we want to take it out to the park. So outside outside yes we want to open it up to the whole community so because it's indoor many people feel it's restricted um we don't know the venue or whatever the parking and all that but when we take it to the park we have an open field we have more exhibitors we have several i mean fast the fashion runway we have a stage we have music play we have the children all around which makes it bigger all the outside stalls outside stalls and also too is is that when you're at an indoor event like i've seen many a video and pictures of your events mm -hmm. you know the people as business owners they come in business suits but then if you say well is this going to be an outdoor park event they might come a little bit more casually yeah t-shirt because we encourage branding which is one very very important part of actually doing business so you don't need to mention your name you just know it the moment mm -hmm. you see so actually going into the park means more t-shirts more festival looking yeah and um we we don't just want to make it um businesses that, i mean coming out as um, business owners we want to make uh, when you say it's a festival we want it actually being a festival that means a costume you dressed in your costume in your cultural attire coming to see businesses from your local area and making purchases, doing the fashion show, dancing to the music. You do a fashion show too? Yeah, we actually do the fashion show. Yeah, we, in the indoor one, we run the fashion show while it's while sales are going on on the stores. So we all incorporate all this in what we do and we want to bring it out there and then you'll be able to see it wow. live on the park. So, I mean, that sounds great, but there's also... Like, if you're from Liverpool, yeah. which most people are who watch this show, <laughs> um, we're so used to that festival thing happening at Sefton Park. Yeah. You know, anytime somebody sets up something, you know, hey, let's set it up at the park, Sefton Park, and stuff like that. But you have a new idea of mine, or an old idea, but a different idea. Where are you thinking about doing it? We're not going to Sefton Park this time around. We're going to Waver Tree Park. Waver Tree Park, wow. So we're moving you from one end of Liverpool to another end. So feel the effect of another festival happening somewhere else. In a bigger place, in a better way, and in a fun, very fun, fun way. So yeah, yeah, we're using the Waver Tree Park this time around. And what's great about that is is that because if people know about it, is that uh, Waver Tree Park is expanded or growing as an interesting area because of the hub that's out there you know i mean you know uh because of the little Woods project that has been started with capital eccentric i can say it because i've interviewed them on this show but in that aspect is, is that so waverage park would be a really interesting new place for people to go and attend yeah. because it's a growing area anyway and stuff like that. So that's a real interesting idea. Now, the reason why we're actually saying that is because nobody can steal this idea from her. <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. You know, it's like you got to say, I came up with it first. <laughs> 
Now all of a sudden everybody's gonna go. Hello, hello, hello. I want to set up something in my truck. But you came up with it first. That's what I was trying to point out, and, and, and everything. So that's cool. Now there's also one more interesting thing that uh, uh, um, found out when we did our little pre-interview is is that like generally in the past um, couple of years you've been lottery funded. Yeah. But then like uh, you chose um, this year to not seek yeah. funding in that sort of way. Why is that? Um. Most times when we get lottery funded, people believe, oh yeah, you have the money, just go ahead and spend it and let's just go and exhibit our project and just go. Mm-hmm. But it's not about actually getting funded. You don't know what efforts we put behind the scene to setting up the stage, to getting in um, cameramen and all that. So um, like the one we had this year, we were so, so happy. We didn't seek for funding. We actually went ahead to the community. We've been giving to the community. We want the community actually to give something back at the same time so we can actually give it again to the community. So we we are sponsored by uh, Adelphi. That was why we were able to use Adelphi Hotel free of charge. We never paid a time. We had Big Sam all the way from Manchester. He sponsored the videos, the recordings, and all the video clips that we have. We have uh, Blackfest. Blackfest actually put in a little um, money they supported with funding for the event as well. And then we have literally to support from here and there that made the success of this 2023. It was absolutely brilliant. Everything was just, everything came in just on time and the whole event was good. So we are open to stand on our own and not just get funded, but we'll continue to seek fund. But please have it at the back of your mind that it is for networking, it is for the success of your business. And when you when you want to achieve success, you need to give something out. Yeah. So yeah. It's not always free. I mean, you know, I'm hoping that this is not one of those uh, best kept secrets. You know, uh, the idea is is that uh, this is a great thing that you've been doing. Pace Center's Expo has been running for five years. And in that aspect is that you've been supporting small local businesses, secret proprietorships, and everything. And you've been helping them help themselves. And then that aspect is is that that's why it's not, oh, just because, oh, like you said about the funding, it's like they could also use that support. It's like, how can we work it kind and support one another, you know, and putting these events on. But in that fashion is is that uh, they, they usually happen like uh, in the springtime, like around May. Yeah, and stuff like that. So hopefully uh, coming to the end of the year now gets plenty of time to plan for that next big one, that outdoor festival that we hope to hear uh, that will happen and that somebody will come in and help you put that on and support that. See, we'll be so happy. You will be so grateful. (laughs) So, (laughs) so, so grateful. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, we, we, out there we will actually we, we don't mind any any um, support we can get from um, any um, how yeah. do I say it? Uh, businesses, businesses sponsorship, sponsorship from anywhere we we'll, we will be glad to accept volunteers. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, lastly, I mean, you know, um, I was kind of joking, but not. Uh, like, uh, what would be your, like, top three, uh, um, businesses to look out for? Okay, um, Taya Mika, she's always been there every year, and she brings new things every year. Taya Mika? Now, you notice how, you notice how people always have, like, these names that are, like, that's Saite Hughes, who also has a show here, a, a Liverpool Community Podcast, that is coming up called Explore Your Identity. Look for that. Taya Mika, Taya Hughes, yeah, okay, fine, now we're not confused. Seven Streets. Seven Streets. <laughs> On Smithtown. Okay. <laughs> um, we have Maya Dutch Couture. Uh-huh. Just, um, she's, um, she does trainings on um, sewing and all that too. So she comes in every year and she's always on her own way every single year. 
she, we are looking forward to so what she makes it. clothes clothes as well yeah she makes clothes and Tammy's hair we're coming out bigger and better Tammy's Tammy's hair they're coming out bigger and better always and I love it how she said hey Tammy's hair <laughs> let's not forget them <laughs> that's not <laughs> you know but that's what you gotta do because sometimes you gotta say well you know hey i can promote myself why cannot mm. <laughs> and i get to talk about my business as well yeah we have a branded product for your hair care a branded product really yeah, for your hair care yeah products that we use for your hair for your wigs for treating your wigs and treating your hair we have that and we have uh, lots of wonderful luxurious wigs that you can actually get and air extensions that we have we treat your hair we are made were you involved with that viva blend product viva no 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 viva is um vanessa she does oh. body, uh, body um, creams and all that yeah so we do hair all right all right all right should have put one Hey, I'm not gonna say you know what I mean. I mean, I mean, I mean I'm just asking, <laughs> <laughs> giving everybody a plug today. <laughs> She's like, don't get me confused. <laughs> Why you get you confused? <laughs> yeah, we're looking forward, uh, forward to actually having her too. Mm -hmm. She will be in. She couldn't make it this year because of another engagement. But yeah, we're looking forward to having her next. Vanessa. Year. Vanessa, yeah. yeah, she's very yeah, busy. Yeah, she is. Yeah, we have House of Charles. I can't name the top businesses, you know. I didn't say I 12, I said 3. <laughs> <laughs> you did I'm name them. Four names, Blossom Beauty. You see. I'm going to give you 100 if you're not careful. <laughs> you're going to give me what? 100, 100 names. 100 names. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, it'll be in the scroll. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> and apart from that, we are looking for... Well, then how do people find... How do people find paysetters, which is our most important thing? Yep. So how do people find information about Paysetters Expo, what's coming up, and what has been going on in the past? Yeah, we have uh, we have our website. Mm -hmm. You can visit paysettersevent.co.uk. We have our page on Facebook, Paysetters. We mm -hmm. have our Instagram page, Paysetters. We are on LinkedIn, we are on Twitter, we are everywhere you can name it. And it's still called Paysetters. It should be. It should always should be all under one name, and stuff like that. So no, yeah, no, no. That's that's the proper way of doing things, and stuff. Well, um, this has been a fantastic interview and and everything. And I'm glad you were able to come in there, TT, and stuff like that. Let us know about pay fetters and what you're all about, and uh, the inspirations, and then also the companies to watch out for, and everything. You know. So um, this has been. You know, Liverpool Community Podcast. I'm your host, Chase Johnson Lynch. And you know what? For now, we out of here.